before we dive into the practice part, I want to cover what exactly JWT tokens are, the difference between authorization and authentication, and present from a bird's eye view how Spring security works. So if you feel that you understand these concepts and came here for the practice, then please skip to the next video. With that said, let's start everything by distinguishing between authentication and authorization. I'm pretty sure that you heard both terms plenty of times already and even heard people using them alternately. Nevertheless, although similar, these two terms refer to completely different things. Imagine you're at the entrance of a super secret club. Authentication is like showing your ID to prove you are who you say you are. It's the process of confirming your identity. So in our club scenario, it's like showing your driver's license to the bouncer. Authorization, on the other hand, is like being allowed into different parts of the club based on your VIP status. Once you're inside, thanks to the authentication, authorization decides what you can do and cannot do. For example, VIP members might access the VIP long, while regular guests cannot. Nextly, let's learn what exactly JW tokens are. So, among plenty of existing ways to authenticate users, JWTs, also known as JSON Web Tokens, are one of the most popular ones. They are like a digital secret handshake over the internet. When we log into a website, the server gives us a special JWT. This token is like a digital badge that says, hey, this person is legit. But why are they so cool? Well, they are safe, compact, and allow us to hold information. JWTs consist of three parts separated by dots. The header, the payload, and the signature. As we can see, the encoded value can be easily decoded and the JWT token values can be read. The header typically consists of two parts, the type of the token, in our case JWT, and the signing algorithm used in this token. The second part of the token is payload, which contains the claims. And claims are the statements about the entity, typically the user, and can bring additional data. Like in our case, we can read the name, uh, we can see the subject, and the issued ad. Lastly, the signature is used to verify that the sender of the JWT is who it says it is, and to ensure that the message wasn't changed along the way. Awesome. At this point, we already know the difference between authentication and authorization and what JWT tokens are. So as the last thing, let's learn a bit more about Spring Security. Spring Security is like the security team of a building. It manages authentication and authorization for our app with filters, authentication, security context, authorization, and additional customization. Filters are like checkpoints at different doors in the building. When a request comes in, it goes through them. These filters handle tasks like authentication and authorization. For instance, there might be a filter that checks if you have a proper access card, authentication, and another one that ensures you can enter specific rooms, authorization. Following, Spring Security uses authentication providers, which can be a database, LDAP, or any other source, to verify your identity. When you log in, Spring Security checks your credentials like username and password, and if they match, you are authenticated. Once you are authenticated, your security details are stored in the security context. It's like being given a special pass after passing through the checkpoint. This pass, the security context, contains your roles and permissions. And when you try to act as a specific part of the application, Spring Security checks your roles and permissions stored in the security context. If you are authorized based on your roles, you're allowed in. Otherwise, you might be denied access. Lastly, Spring Security allows us to customize the security filters, authentication providers, and access rules according to our application's needs. We can configure which URLs need authentication, what roles are required, and so on, so on. And although this all may seem overwhelming at the moment, please don't worry, we'll learn everything step by step in this video series. 